Okay, so in this video, I've got some uh, AEBL um, in these little packets. These are test pieces, by the way. I think that's test piece number five, look. I'm only gonna be doing two test pieces today. Uh, that's five and six. And uh, I'm gonna be treating it at uh, 1051 Celsius. And I'm gonna soak it for 15 minutes. And then I'm going to put uh, piece number six in, and then we're going to heat that at 1065 and hold that for 15 minutes. And then what I'm going to—sorry, the the steel is a uh, three mil, 3.5 mil thick. Um, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the freezer uh, for 30 minutes, and then I'm going to do a snap test on them. Um, I'm monitoring the temperature of my freezer, which is around about 21 minus 21. So when we get up to 10.50, then I'll show you us putting the piece in. Okay, so it's uh, just about reached its temperature now. Obviously the uh, temperature will drop a bit and it takes probably about two to three minutes for it to get back up to a uh, temperature. And then we'll leave that for uh, 20 minutes. But I'm going to take them out at five. Sorry, no, I'm not. I'm going to take it out at 15 minutes. Because and then I've got five minutes to plate quench it, get the other one in, and then it builds back up again. See if that's done the job. Yep, indeed. And sharp as well. I've cut myself bloody putting this all together. Well, there we go. So that's test piece ABL 5. There we 
go and that's going to go in the freezer now which is currently at minus 21 so this is the next piece of a uh, test ABL Okay, so I've uh, taken both of them out of the freezer um, and they're just resting at room temperature now which is around about 26, well there you see it, 26 degrees. I left them in a little bit longer than planned. Um, they've been in for about an hour because I also do air gun repairs. So I've been working on this uh, CP88 and I got distracted. Uh, so yeah, so we'll wait for them to uh, cool down and then uh, we go to the next process. Okay, so this is a, a test piece number five, which is the uh, ABL 3.5 mil. Oh yes, so that's a uh, nice and smooth grain there. Okay, so this is a uh, test piece ABL number six. So I'm going to get this up a bit higher. This tightened right up. I don't think I had it very tight before. Probably why it took so much. A few more hits. Right. There we go. Yeah, two hits that time. It was flexing the first one, I reckon. Not flexing. Um, moving. Again, nice smooth structure. Okay, so here are the two pieces which we, uh, which I've just snapped, and the uh, one on the right was uh, heat treated at ten fifty Celsius for fifteen minutes, and the one on the left was. 10.65 for uh, 15 minutes both went in the freezer for about an hour I don't know, slightly overrun with that um, and like you see one snapped easy one, one snapped not so easy I think that was uh, on my part because I didn't have the eyes tight enough but if you look at the grain structure on this one you see it, it's very smooth there. So if we turn this one round as well and have a look. I know that's only from the stress of the metal bending. But uh, the one on the right, which was the one what was hard to uh, break probably on my behalf but I've got a really nice grain structure on there it's like a clean snap right 
to the Rockwell Chester. Okay, so this is a, a third test on the piece number five, testing piece number five. Got to wait a few seconds for the uh, loading arm to drop. Sixty point five. We just had a sixty two on that as well. On in the centre of that piece. Yeah, might not be, there you go. So this is the other piece. Piece six of the A EBL test piece. Just wait for that arm to come down. Give a little tap. noticed with this uh, steel is that the imprint from the Rockwell tester doesn't go as deep but <laughs> this has got me some hard stuff okay, so now we're going to the uh, sharpness tester there's the test piece I can't use I can't use this guide because it's uh, the blade is too short so I'm just gonna have to do this manually so I'm just going to come down really slow on it and see what reading we get in grams of pressure. <laughs> 63 grams of pressure. Test piece after it's been stopped. It's a 4 mil lever. Sorry, I had to try and cut something with a small piece of metal. But you can see it goes through it, no problem. Try not to cut my fingers while I'm doing this as well. So yeah, happy with the uh, A A E B L. I've yet to make um, a prototype knife and then test it. Uh, this is only just a test piece and these are the little tests I go through so um, Yeah, happy with it so far Okay, so that uh, that concludes the uh, snap test Okay, so this is uh, the brass rod test so you need to really uh, Try and look at this edge here as it passes over the apex of the brass rod you should see this edge flex and that would indicate <coughs> good heat treatment so I'm going to try and do this as best I can without obstructing uh, the view of it so I'll start down here I'm going to press hard get the apex of the blade on it there you go can you see that flexing it's not chipping. There you go. That's better. I don't know if you might see it better this way. If I can get the angle right. Yeah, you might pick that up. And that's the same. That's the same test piece. 
That's piece number seven, 59 HRC. So I'm happy with that. Also, you can do this test on a lighter. You should be able to see the steel flex as it goes over the lighter. Um, which I'm happy with. I'm ha happy with the heat treatment. <clears throat> I'm happy with the blade edge on those two tests. I'm happy with the cutting edge on this, which is, uh, as you've seen in the video, on the electronic tester. Yeah, well pleased. So, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up and share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.